Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Praveen Kumar Sriram. I'm a Microsoft Certified Trainer working as a Solutions Architect on Azure. Today we are going to learn what an app service is and we'll also see how to create the app service using Azure Bicep. What's an app service? App service is a pass service within Azure that helps us in creating web apps or web APIs or mobile backends. Mobile backends are nothing but APIs that are used for mobile applications. App service allows us to deploy any of these applications And it also supports the following technologies. It supports .NET, it supports Java based applications, it supports PHP, Python, Node.js and Ruby. Apart from all these, you can also deploy single page applications like Angular or any other kind of front end applications. All right, let's head over to Visual Studio Code to start writing bicep scripts for provisioning app service. In our previous session, I have created two app service plan, one in Windows, the other one is on Linux. So let me delete this. We don't need to have two app service plans and then now let's create the bicep script for creating an app service. res hyphen web app, that's the shortcut. Click on this, it will create the complete skeleton. And if you see this, there are four sections which are highlighted. That means Visual Studio Code is telling us that we need to change all these four placeholders. Let's start with changing the symbolic name to a meaningful symbolic name. I'll copy the one that we already have for App Service Plan and put that here and rename it to App Service. AZ Bicep App Service. And then I would also like to copy paste. Oops. I would say the map one and tax is not required for us now. I'm going to delete it, it's not mandatory. And then this is very important within the properties, we need to configure the server form ID. So server form ID is the ID of the app service plan in which this app service is going to reside. Right? It needs the ID of the app service plan. Now, how do you get the ID? So there are functions. You're, you're making a call to a function called resource ID. Resource ID gives us the ID of any service and it accepts two parameters one the provider name and then the service name the provider name is microsoft.web slash server form the same thing that we have used here while creating the app service plan the next property is we need to pass the name of the app service plan in this case we would like to create a web app inside this app service plan so copy paste it that's it right now save your changes and deploy this by script i hit enter it will take a moment 
to start running. And build is succeeded. It should start running in a moment. Yeah, it's running now. Let's head over to the portal to see the progress. This is our resource group. Now we can navigate to deployments. There is an error. Can't find server form with name. Right. So the reason is I have deleted the app service plan just to save my cost, right? Let's fix the problem now. Now here, what happened is, there are two resources that we are creating in the same bicep file, right? Now, by default, these run in parallel, right? So bicep scripts or ARM templates, they don't run in sequence in the way they are defined here. Sometimes they might run, in parallel right or sometimes they will also ensure that the references are existing already in our case this is a reference to an existing service but in our case it doesn't exist right so what we need to do is we can also specify depends on it's an array so all we need to do is provide the symbolic name on which this particular service is dependent on. Let's save the changes and run our command again. Now let's head over to the portal and see if there is any problem. Go to deployments again. This time it is running. Let me click on this. Now server form got submitted and in a moment app service will also get sub submitted. Yeah, it is done. Right? You don't see app service here. Yeah, now it is showing up app service as well. Now click on go to resource group. If you don't see all the services, then you'll have to click on refresh. Now app service is also shown to us. Right? That's how you create an app service within an existing app service plan. That's it for today. Thank you.